Hello there and welcome back to this tutorial. In the last tutorial we spoke about the wheels part and now we go to the DMX page. So here we have some default stuff and here you can see that um, it put the RGB colors into the beam. For now I will delete all of them and we start from scratch and here we can change the color uh, the name of the mode and for example like in the manual the first mode would be this one I show you the manual one second. Here, this is the name of the mode, and here, this is what's in the mode. But I won't be starting with this mode because there's uh, we have to put in a virtual dimmer. I would cover this in the next one, but I think I will set uh, different modes and then fill it later. Here, we has, have a H. As V mode, and I think I will start with this mode, the R1, AR1D. So we put in the HSV mode here, and then we put in the R A one oh sorry D in here D for dimmer. I had it there is it. Okay, now we can add our first channel here, and it's set to the ge geometry. But I would say the dimmer attribute not to the geometry body. I would set it to the beam and then we click OK and here we have it. Now we can start putting in some values. Here, here you can change the resolution if it's a virtual 8-bit, 16-bit, 24-bit resolution and here you can set the uh, dimmer channel. Dimmer channel 1 is fine. As you see in the manual here my channel one, other uh, channel one is master dimmer. Patch break will stay for one for all the time at this fixture. Here's the functionality. We can set a high value, a highlight value, and we will make it 100. Um, oh, sorry, I have to look it up. If okay. You have you have to see what's what it's saying here on the right. It's set percent percent. It's hundred, and in eight bit it's two hundred fifty five. So everything can stay as it is here. Here you can see the logical channel. Here's the dimmer, and here you can say that it should react to the grandmaster, which. Uh, that means that uh, if you pull the grandmaster down on your lighting console, this dimmer channel will also go down. So here we have the channel function, and you can leave everything as it is. Move in black, change time. I wouldn't change dimmer. Would dimmer from DMX null up to mix 255 the default value is zero the, when you have the fixture in your patch then the dimmer should be off at zero and physical has to be from zero to one so don't ask me why it is so but you can trust me in this uh, so so it works here we can also set um, channel set of the dimmer one 
Um, but I don't think it's needed for a dimmer to set a channel set. So we add the, the next channel. So we go here and set it beam and we set it. You can look for the feature group and it would be color. And here we are on RGB. And here we have color at R and say here you have a short description and we say okay okay and there it is 8-bit resolution is fine for us now course channel is the second second dmx channel you can see it here here channel number two uh, break highlight value would be 8 bit 255. Mm, it don't should react to the grandmaster, that belongs to the dimmer. This other things can stay as they are from 0 to 255. Default value here should be 200. 55 the default value of the of the um, red LEDs because if you normally would um, bring the dimmer up on an LED par you have a uh, white mixed color and therefore you need green uh, red green and uh, blue at uh, full output that this this means 255 so highlight we have set this can stay this way but we could also here in the channel functions here add additional properties and here we could pick the emitter you could also pick a filter if it would make sense or a wheel but for this point we take the emitter so in here above here you can see it uh, next one we do mainly the same color, RGB, green, G for green, okay. Go up here, course channel is the third. And here you can see here, third, green. Uh, the mix break stays, highlight goes up to 255 doesn't react to the master bop, 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 bop. default should be 255 and physical 0 to 1 and here we could take the, mid, the green and the D goes up now we go to the blue LED color RGB blue Yes, that's right. Add mm, fourth course. Okay. You can see the fourth one. And highlight 255. Doesn't react. Da, 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 da. No zero. Default has to be 255. Additional properties. Emitter blue LED, okay. And now we are finished. On these dots here, you can see if you have changed something from one version to another. So, okay, we have, and if you um, put uh, click on the title here, you can see break one for channels. Beam dimmer, beam color red, beam color green, beam color blue. And if we compare this to the manual here, you see that this is like it's set in the manual. So, if you now would like to um, load this fixture up, if you only make uh, it for one um, mode, 
what I wouldn't recommend, but if you like to store it at this point, I would say you skip macro, you go to summary. Here you can see all the things put together, which, which attributes are used in the fixture, the activation groups, the feature groups, and here you can see the different modes and the geometries. Here you can see the revisions. So if you are here, you can go to next. First mode. Here you can mark it as progress. Everything should stay and then you click OK. It will get uploaded to the share. OK, and it will download in the download folder here. The fixture file so you could put it into your um, console i will show you how to do that in another video so i yes so i can show you that it's already in here so we're back in the share we go to expo light here we have the fixture then here you can also see that you have the different revisions and if you scroll down here you can see what you did in the revisions so thank you for joining hope to see you in the next video bye